excited for this uh, showcase you guys are going to put on tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'm really Wednesday, ex- Wednesday yeah, I'm really excited. It's the uh, first time we're doing something like this. So I'm excited to see, you know, the turnout from the fans and, uh, you know, us getting down uh, up and down the court. So I'm excited. How's the transition been for you just from high school to college? Uh, well, I've been here since the summer, so I think the summer really helped me get a feel for, you know, UCLA, school, classes, practice, and things like that. But I think it's been a pretty smooth transition so far for myself, and I'm really enjoying it here. Uh, coach, the, coach said that he had to re-recruit you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, what was hey, that? Did you consider going someplace else? Uh, I just wanted did to you see. play hard to get a little? <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I just wanted to see who, you know, UCLA got as a coach, and I wanted to talk to them. And, yeah, so, uh, you know, once he heard, once he got the job, he gave me a call and said, you know, we'd love to have you stay. I want you over at Cincinnati. Now you're here, so I'd love for you to stay. And I was like, hey, if you guys want to have me, I'll stay. So that's pretty much how it happened. Did he recruit you at Cincinnati? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. But at the time, I think I was, like, you know, really just focused on UCLA and committing here. So, yeah. Could you say is the biggest difference from high school basketball to what you're doing now here in this training camp? Uh, I would say, you know, uh, just, you know, the speed and just the physicality of it. Because, you know, going from high school, everyone's pretty much the strongest, biggest, fastest guy. But now you got everyone here who's just as strong, just as fast. So the physicality, I would say, has been a huge transition so far. You know, getting in the weight room has really helped. So, but yeah, we're doing a good job over there. He's got that first turnover uh, over there on the wall. Is that helping you kind of stay focused? Or yeah, time? definitely. Because, you know, once that uh, seven goes to zero, we got to, you know, get on the line and start running. So. Put a big emphasis on no no turnovers, keep it secure in the ball, and you know making sure that we put the ball in the basket. Been a big emphasis. Do you, get, do you get points for assists too? Yeah, I'm pretty, at one, once we get ten assists, we get uh, we get a, one turnover back. So uh, yeah. So what do you think you bring to this team? What skills or kind of athleticism do you have? Uh, the guys you know, I would here? say you know just like a fire guy who's going to come in and you know just want to win, want to win, bring a, a presence, you know, score the ball, shoot the ball, dribble, do a little bit of everything play really hard on defense and, you know, bring energy to the team. The guys that have been here, what have you gotten from them about them rededicating themselves with a new coaching staff and a, kind of a new program? Uh, I mean, we're all kind of in the same boat pretty much because, you know, it's a new coach to myself and them as well. So, we're, you know, they're helping us, you know, with other things. Not really because, I mean, you know, we're learning to coach. We're getting to know the coach as we go. But, you know, just things about school and, you know, how to practice and how to take care of your body and things like that, when to work out and things like that. Yeah. And uh, when did you start – like full contact? Uh, probably about a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's been taking it slow. Uh, it's been a progression, but finally here. Really how, does it, how does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty good. It's nothing too worrisome. Nothing, you know, I'm just recovering. I'm recovering on my whole body. It's not just the foot. I'm not focused on the foot anymore. Was there, was there anything that you learned during that process about yourself or wanting to get back on the court? Yeah, there was a few stuff that I was doing wrong. I created habits over the time uh, about my running, jumping. We have an excellent uh, um, health program here for the basketball team. And Shane really helped me uh, get back in shape with the correct habits and everything to give me a, to be a better athlete. Are those the kind of things that you can keep using now or is that mostly just recovery stuff? Uh, it's the things I keep using now. So. Uh, he's taught me how to run, how to cut, proper way, how to jump, everything. Like, even everyday things like walking, correct position, getting low. He taught me everything, and it was a good. Pro- it was a good process. It was struggling. It was struggling, but you know, at the end, it was, it was worth it. Were there some setbacks in that whole recovery that kind of prolonged it a little? Uh, there was no. There was no setbacks. We were just taking per- uh, precaution. I was taking uh, precaution for myself because my body, you know. And UCLA, they were taking it slow because that's their way, and there's no problem with that. You know, I prefer it slow to make sure everything goes correctly in progression. Would you say you're still maybe a little tentative at this point, just completely 100%? What would you say? Uh, I'm fully confident in my capabilities right now. Uh, it's just a matter of getting back into actually playing the game and seeing how things work and uh, knowing the new coaches' uh, tactics and everything like that. But as far as the injury is concerned, I'm ready. Ready for the season. How would you, where do you call it, Tiger, and how do you think you guys are going to kind of share the ball? Uh, me and Tiger, uh, we talked about it a lot, and we talked about it on and off the court. Uh, we have fully, we have full trust in each other. We push each other in practice, and we we get after it. So for me to share the ball, for him to share the ball, it's really, it's a level of trust between teammates, and you need that to win. So we have that. You guys will go head to head in the uh, showcase on Wednesday. 
maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Because I'm, I'm either a point guard or shooting guard. It doesn't matter. I'm just here to have fun, push my teammates. How do you think the uh, team is adapting to the new culture? Yeah, we're adapting pretty good. We have, um, we have a different culture. And it's, it's new to us, but, you know, it's really good for us. And it's not only good for us on the court, but it's good for us off the court. We're becoming better men for life, not just better basketball players with this culture. What do you think of the style of play that you're calling? Things um, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I love the defensive intensity. I just love the overall attitude of the new coaches have. I mean, it's really great for us, and I feel like we can do some damage in the Pac-12 and during the season. Do you like having that uh, assist turnover uh, stats on Kaiser Horn? Oh, yeah, I love it because I'm, I'm rarely ever trying to be on that list of turnovers. <laughs> so, you know, I'm trying to be on the assist list. So it's just a reminder, and uh, I always – mind of the squad and during practice, you know, hey, we got to stop turning the ball over. We got to a pass the ball more, move the ball more, you know, it's, it's really good for us to see that visually during practice. You only had like 12 turnovers all last season. Is that something that sticks with you as far as valuing the ball? It sticks with me, but it's, you can't really think about last season. You got to focus on now. And I, I play the way I play, you know, I just try to make 100% uh, passes, good decisions. You know, if it happens to be 12 turnovers per season, that's what it is. But I'm not really focused on, you know, stats or anything, but focus on just getting the win. That hypothetical practice that you had on Saturday, how how did you feel the team did? How did you do? Uh, I feel like we, I feel like it went well. I can't really, you know, go into detail about it, but it went well. We learned a lot of things about us, about what we need to improve on, what's good for us. And me personally, uh, I feel like I did good. I mean, not really anything to it, just getting back at it, you know, just, I'll just keep getting better, keep progressing. Are you looking forward to the showcase on Wednesday, like what do you think you're going to get out of it? Oh, uh, I'm just, I'm just here, I'm just going to have fun with the showcase, you know, uh, probably some team bonding, team chemistry, uh, doing what I love, that's what it's about, uh, uh, creating a show for the fans that show up, so it's really, it's really just fun, but I hope uh, we, it, it's not, it's not going to be a waste of time. We're going to learn something, whether it's team bonding, team chemistry, or having fun. We're going to get something out of it. What do you think about uh, what that showcase means for the fans, like the SoCal area, like that? What do you, uh, what do you kind of think the connection is there? No, it's definitely good for them, you know, because, you know, it's what basketball it is, it's entertainment. So it's nice to, you know, have people come out and watch, you know, give them a little show, and also learn a couple of things and get ready for the season. So, yeah, it'll be fun. What was the whole process with the new coaching staff re recruiting you when you were committed to the old staff? Um, it was just, you know, like, you got to leave an impression. So that was what I came in, you know. I was like, you know, I don't really know the new coaches as well. Uh, just got to show what I can do, what, I, what I'm capable of, and just leaving that first impression of just who I am as a basketball player. And I think I've done that. And then, you know, just kind of working, you know, throughout the staff and working, you know, what I'm trying to do. Here. I mean, when they first came in and they contacted you, did you still know you wanted to go to UCLA? Oh, yeah, I was definitely coming here no matter what. I mean, I signed with UCLA. I mean, that was my dream school since I've been a little kid. So I wasn't backing out no matter what. So this is the place I want to be. Was your mom went to UCLA? Yeah, she went here. She won a national championship in volleyball. So I've been around for a bunch of times here for the alumni things and stuff like that. So I've just always wanted to come here. If you weren't going to change your commitment, what were you kind of looking for when you were talking to coaching staff when you first met with them? Uh, just kind of getting a relationship with them, just kind of feel out, feel out what they what they like, what, what their play style is, and you know what they're looking for and stuff. And just kind of play around that and, you know, play to their play style and help them with what they want, but also just play as what I can do and be myself, too. You can talk about the defense under Nick Carter. What do you think this offense is going to look like? Uh, definitely quick, fast pace. I mean, he loves to get up and down, and that's what defense leads to. Like, he wants to get steals, and I love that. You know, I'm trying to work on my game and expand my defense because that's one of my weaknesses. So just working on that and then leads to steals and leads to fast breaks. So definitely playing fast and just working through that. He also talks a lot about uh, rebounding as a major emphasis. Is that something that's new to you, going from high school to college? And uh, you know, physicality changes? Uh, definitely physicality, because obviously, you know, as you move up through levels, like people just get bigger, faster, stronger. But uh, I, towards my beginning of high school, like freshman, sophomore year, I kind of played the four a little bit. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm a little bit used to the down low a little bit. So just working, you know, trying to be physical down there, boxing out, getting rebounds. I'm used to a little bit, so I, I average like eight eight rebounds in high school. So just kind of bring that over, you know, be a presence inside also, just inside out, and just work through there, yeah.